Devin Booker wore a hockey toque to deal with the sub-zero temperatures in Boston and pulled out a baseball metaphor to describe his possible return to the basketball court. Rounding third, Booker said after watching from the bench as his Phoenix Suns teammates beat the Celtics 106-94 on Friday N. Michael Bridges scored 25 points and Dario Saric had 14 with 13 rebounds Friday night to lead the Phoenix Suns to a 106-94 victory over Boston and send the NBA leading Celtics to their fourth loss in six games. Chris Paul added 15 points, 8 assists and 6 rebounds for Phoenix, which had a 20-point, second quarter lead trimmed to 1 by the end of the third. The Suns opened the fourth with eight straight points to turn back Boston's rally. Booker, a native of Grand Rapids, Michigan, wore a Detroit Red Wings knit cap as he sat on the bench in the same building where he scored 70 points in 2017. He hasn't played since sustaining a groin injury on Christmas. It was just the second time he has joined the team on a road trip since. I'm mindful of what I say because I don't want to get everybody excited about it, or depress everybody, either. It's just where he is, Suns coach Monty Williams said before the game. We do feel like Hess getting closer and closer to coming back. The Suns lost 9 of their first 11 games after the three-time All-Star went out but have won seven of the last nine while they wait for his return, which could come during current the five-game road trip. For us to win it without Bo. We would have liked to win a few more games, but now that we're winning a lot of games and Hess on the verge of coming back, it's big for us. Jalen Brown scored 27 points and Jason Tatum had 20 for the Celtics, who beat the Brooklyn Nets by 43 points on Wednesday and beat the Suns by 27 in December. But the two Boston All-Stars shot a combined 12 for 36 from the floor and 6 for 22 from three-point range. The Suns led 74 to 73 to start the fourth quarter before running off the next eight points, prompting Boston coach Joe Mazzola to call a timeout. Derek White drove for a layup to snap the slump, but Damian Lee and Sharich hit back-to-back -back threes, and the Celtics never got closer than six from there. The Celtics scored the first seven points of the game, but quickly gave it all back. Phoenix scored the next 12, with Aiden putting in three straight baskets to start the run. The Suns started the second quarter with back-to-back three-pointers by Ashwain Wright and Lee, sparking another 8-0 run that helped them open a 32-20 lead. 